Hello there, this is Yana Smakula for Spellbinders Creative Arts and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll show you how to create an elegant holiday card using Spellbinders Art Deco dies. I'm going to be using the Art Deco tree dies to create this project and I'll show you an easy way to do inlaid die cutting technique. I'm going to start by die cutting one of the Art Deco trees, the larger one, out of gold mirror cardstock. I'm using my platinum die cutting and embossing machine and I already have the base platform, my bottom clear cutting plate, paper and the die facing cutting edge down and going to cover this with the top cutting plate and send through the machine to cut. This die is not designed to emboss so there's no need to use embossing sandwich here. Since this is a very detailed die I'm going to run it through my machine a few times just to make sure I've cut everything nicely. Next, using my tool in one to take the die cut out of the die and trying to take everything at once so that the negatives stay inside the positive die. This will make it easier to do the inlay later. I'm going to cut this die one more time out of black cardstock and again I'm going to run this through my machine a couple of times to make sure I have a proper cut. The sides of the machine always have greater pressure. So if you find you can't die cut a particular spot, you can slide the die to the side and die cut it there instead of die cutting it in the middle of the cutting plate and the rollers. Before we move on, I wanted to show you the other Art Deco tree that comes in this die set. Here I have a die cut out of the same gold cardstock. So I'm going to take the black die cut tree outline, the actual die cut, out of the die and I'm using my tool in one to help me with that. This time I'm trying to keep the negatives inside the die and this will depend on the type of paper that you use, whether the negatives will separate from the positive piece like they do here with the black cardstock or if they will stay with the main die cut like they did with the gold die cut. It's not about the die, it all depends on the paper that you use. I'm going to place the black positive die cut onto the gold die cut from the back and I'm going to do my best to align the two. I'm going to use black foam adhesive to connect the gold negatives with the black positive pieces. I'm going to use the gold negatives to inlay in the black outline. To make sure the pieces stay together, I'm going to use foam adhesive as I also want to pop this die cut up on my finished card. Now I'm not going to inlay every element, I just want some of the larger gold pieces to be inlaid inside the black outline. You can inlay all of them if you want, I only wanted a few in there. So when I'm adding the foam adhesive, I'm making sure to adhere it over the outline die cut and over the negative piece. This way it will hold the two elements together. And when I go to remove the black outline, the foam adhesive will pull the gold negatives out of the gold die cut and those that I chose to inlay will stay inside the black tree. There are many different ways to do the inlay die cutting technique, but this one just seems to be on the easier side, where you don't have to spend too much time putting the puzzle pieces together. Following the same principle, I'm going to add black negatives inside the gold die cut. First, I'm going to clean the gold die cut and get rid of any remaining gold negatives. Next, I'm going to place the gold die cut inside the die where I still have the black negatives. And again, I'm going to use foam adhesive to connect the pieces. Going to pull this out of the die and voila, the other inlay die cut is ready. The rest is very simple. I've already prepared a card base with a snowflake background and I'm going to adhere my Art Deco tree on top. I'm using foam adhesive that is already there and just aligning the die cut in the center of my panel. Here's a closer look at this card featuring Art Deco tree die from Spellbinders. If you're interested in the products I used, I have them linked down below in my YouTube description. Here are a few more fun videos on my channel featuring Art Deco style and dies, as well as Christmas cards. First one features a double embossing technique with a Spellbinders texture plate. Second one talks about Spellbinders Shell's duality die from the Art Deco collection. And the third one is a modern holiday card. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so and thank you so much for watching. 